Even if you try to appear larger by standing on tiptoe, how unstable that posture is. And even if you try to move faster by spreading your legs wide, how uncomfortable that posture is. Standing on tiptoe does not allow you to stand correctly, and spreading your legs wide does not allow you to walk correctly. Pushing oneself forward doesn't make one appear brighter. Asserting oneself as right doesn't make one widely known. Boasting about oneself diminishes value, and flaunting oneself isn't enduring. This is called leftover food and garbage behavior. All things dislike such behavior, but courageous individuals refrain from it. Those who understand others are wise, and those who understand themselves are noble. Those who prevail over others are strong, and those who prevail over themselves are even stronger. Those who understand others are wise, and those who understand themselves are virtuous. Those who triumph over others are powerful, and those who triumph over themselves are resolute. The most outstanding behavior is to mimic the nature of water. If you want to become strong, you must become like water. If there are no obstacles, water flows. When there are stones, water avoids them. If the container breaks, water flows again. If your vessel is rough, it becomes square, and if placed in a round container, it becomes round. Due to its humble attitude, Water is more necessary than anything else and stronger than anything else. The most ideal way of living is like water. Water brings benefits to all things and flows to the low places that people dislike without resistance. Without a way of living that is irretrievable like water, you cannot avoid failure. There is nothing softer and weaker than water. Nevertheless, water fights and triumphs over strong things. There is nothing stronger than water because water is weak. It is a well-known fact that the most powerful weapon is blessing. Therefore, those who rely on such things are truly wise. They achieve peace without waging war. I have three treasures that I always want to keep hidden. The first is gentleness. The second is simplicity and modesty. The third is an attitude that does not seek to take the lead. Softness always prevails over strength. When asked what is the most complete thing, it may seem lacking. But its usefulness is not contained within a vessel. Fulfilled things may appear empty. However, their usefulness is endless. Things that appear large may seem crooked. The most excellent strategy may seem immature and eloquence may sound like a tired voice. Movement can overcome cold, and exercising can overcome heat. When it's time to harvest, one should bend down, because one does not reveal oneself, their existence shines brighter. Because one does not deem oneself right, their height becomes apparent because one does not boast, they accomplish even greater feats, and because one does not boast, their name is remembered for long. Adults, because they do not contend, are not opposed by the world, believe in the ancient saying that what is burnt remains perfect by truth. A person can remain perfect until the end. Darkness originates from lowliness, and greatness originates from lowliness. Therefore, 
a ruler considers themselves as someone with no virtues or flaws, as someone completely incompetent. Isn't this precisely an attitude rooted in heaven? Hence, when praised, refrain from shining like a gem, and instead be rough like a stone, as praise eventually fades away. A superior warrior does not display strength. A skilled fighter does not show a bright countenance. A successful victor does not engage recklessly, and one who utilizes others well always bows beneath them. These are virtues of non-contention and utilizing the strength of others. Without going, one cannot reach without doing, one cannot achieve, no matter how close it is, unless one reaches out. They can never grasp what they desire. A wise person practices non-action, has interest in inaction, and is someone who tastes flavorless things. Even a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A large tree starts from a small branch to reach the tenth floor. It starts with stacking small bricks one by one until reaching the end if you continue to strive as you did at the beginning you can achieve anything there is no failure if you tie the end as you did the beginning words in god are not beautiful and there is no divine intention in beautiful words good people are not eloquent and eloquent people are not necessarily good. Those who know do not speak, and those who speak do not know. Good words gain fame in the market. However, good actions gain friends among people. By being more generous to others, one becomes richer through giving to others. By ignoring what is beneficial to oneself, one can obtain what is beneficial to oneself. Do not greedily pursue happiness, and do not be afraid. One should be wary of a tranquil household even in peaceful times. Precautions should be taken before it even appears. Things that need to be broken should be removed in advance when they are small. Things to be discarded should be disposed of early before they become heavy. In all matters, attention should be paid before they occur. After they happen, it is already too late. Extremes must inevitably become habits. The more one indulges in extremes, the more barriers they build, and those who build many barriers become uncontrollable. In the managing the world of humanity, there is no better rule than moderation. Having few possessions is ownership, and having many possessions is confusion. Even if wealth and treasures overflow, one cannot protect them forever. Being satisfied with relinquished status and having a proud heart will inevitably invite disaster upon oneself. When you have achieved success and gained fame, it is the way of heaven to withdraw. If you are satisfied with what you currently have, you can avoid shame, and if you know how to withdraw within your own domain, you will not be in danger, and by doing so, you can endure for a long time. A vessel must be empty to contain anything. Not knowing satisfaction is the greatest calamity. When lacking, withdrawing avoids shame and knowing how to withdraw avoids danger. Melancholic people live in the past, anxious people live in the future, 
and peaceful people live in the present. Do not interfere by leaving everything to chance.